Well, good morning, everybody. Hey, we're gonna head out to the Deer Valley Airport today and fly a brand new Piper M350. Uh, I'm meeting uh, Alex, who is the regional sales rep for Piper, and he's gonna give us a demo ride. Uh, I'm always super excited to uh, go out and fly general aviation airplanes. I don't get to do it very much. Today's a different day, man. We're gonna go out, we're gonna get in the air, we're gonna go fly where we wanna fly and go check out a really cool airplane. So. Come with me, this edition of Flying with Big Aaron, we're gonna go check out the Piper M350. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last. Get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Guys, we just rolled up to Cutter Aviation here at Deer Valley. I'm gonna walk inside, meet with Alex, and go check out this beautiful bird. All right, here we go. Get to fly some GA today. Yeah, my buddy Alex. How are you guys? I handle the Piper sales for uh, Cutter Aviation. All right, so if you're in the market, go see Alex. He is the man. We just had a really good conversation for about 30 minutes there. Real cool cat. This is what we're gonna fly today. So this is a 2019 model M350 350 Alpha Zulu with the G1000 NXI. It's our pre-owned aircraft with about 240 hours on it. And we're gonna pick you left seat. That's awesome. I can't wait. Let's go do this. So club seating, plenty of room for, for especially for four passengers in an aircraft, very comfortable. You can see we're not bumping knees. No. Window shades. Window sheets come up and down nice and easily, keeping them down for now for the Arizona heat. Table comes out. You got USB charging ports as well. Two here, oh, no. also two here, and also two up here by the cockpit. Oh, cool. Along with a relief tube right oh, here wow. at the bottom. Nice. I'll need that. <laughs> got 100 pounds of baggage in the tail where these two seats fold down and you got 100 pounds up front as well. Okay. And well, we'll take a look outside for a little bit. All right, let's do it. So we got a 43 foot wingspan and a nice big flap. You can put the flaps and gear down, 165 knots. Big aileron, plenty of roll control. Nice stable aircraft, even at the slow airspeeds. Oh wow. You can mix it in with the, with the jet traffic if needed, but also with the light training aircraft as well. Yeah, wingtip position lights, a recognition light, full Fiki DI system, DI boots. You got a heated windshield on the pilot side, a low setting and a high setting. Dual uh, keto tube and the prop is also a hot prop. Landing gear. Electrically actuated, hydraulically operated, uh, fail-safe systems are guaranteed to come down. Very strong, reliable uh, landing gear system. You also have an ice light, lights up the entire wing. So you can see it. I like for one of the stall strips to be covered in ice, then I'll blow the boots. Cool. Here we have a nose baggage compartment, 100 pounds. So you can put in four sets of golf clubs minus the drivers. You can check your hydraulic fluid right in that spot. And, uh, but I generally load this first, just because it's easier. Don't have to bring it over the stairs or over the seats. So very comfortable wow. and easy to access. Very cool. So you got a 350 horsepower TSIO light combing engine, dual tur turbocharged and air cooled as well. Top prop as I spoke about. And here you have your main air intake and alternate air intake at the bottom in case this gets iced over. You have two alternators that share the load equally as well. One alternator goes out, the rest of the system can carry the load. Fuel system, you have a engine driven uh, fuel pump, a backup electrical pump, and two boost pumps in each wing. So when you're on the left tank, the left boost pump is running, right tank is off, and vice versa. Cool. Radar pod, so you have XM weather and radio, but as you know, that can be delayed the XM weather or it can go out uh, for various various reasons. So you have real-time weather right here. 
a lot of people don't know is you also have a little pod that you can access and you can place uh, oil, rags, or whatever else. Oh, very cool. That you do not want to place into the cock. You also have speed brakes oh, right wow. here that come out. And there's no limitation on the speed brakes except not to use in icing conditions, and they work very effectively. You'll see that today. And it's a great way to just simply save your engine from uh, preventing it from being shot. shot. 120 gallons is what, what the aircraft holds, 60 gallons each wing, and 200 knots, it translates to a thousand nautical mile solid IFR range. But a good looking airplane, as you can see, nice ramp appeal, sits up high, and a nice aircraft for, especially for non-flyers. They like the cabin door, they climb right into it, they don't have to climb over a seat, over a wing. So it's just a, a welcoming appearance, uh, and good looking airplane. We also have pedostatic system. You have it on each, each side and also at the bottom. So everything in this aircraft is backed up besides the engine itself, but a very strong, reliable engine that's been in, on this aircraft since 1988. Very cool. Ready to go fly? Let's go do it. All right, sounds good. All right, great. We got a little over half a tank today. Oh, the air is a game changer. It is a hundred and what, what, two degrees outside right now? From my two five. Yeah, right. we got 42 Celsius. Blue special air traffic Ooh. is active. In Drew Valley Ground, Malibu 350 Alpha Zulu with Whiskey, uh, you're ready to taxi for a VFR departure to the north, and we're at Cutter. Malibu 350 Alpha Zulu, Drew Valley Ground, runway 25 left at Charlie 11 intersection, taxi via Charlie. Taxi to uh, 25 left, Charlie 11 via Charlie for 350 Alpha Zulu. Uh, first thing I notice is it's got really good control on the ground, it's very like stable. Um, you know, without a caster in nose wheel. It's right. It's very intentional on where it wants to go. Line up and wait, 255 Charlie 11 for 350 Alpha Zulu. As we take the runway, we're going to put the fuel Your pump down on. That's our, yep, that's right. That's our backup have, uh, electrical you. boost pump. Gotcha. In case the main engine driven pump was Hello, to no, 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 fail. Mel Booz, your Alpha Zulu, runway 25 left at Charlie 11. Clear for takeoff, flash her down. Clear for takeoff, 25 left, Charlie 11, fly straight out, 350 Alpha Zulu. All right, very good. Bring it up to 30 inches. Okay, north, south side. South side Everything's in the green. Right. Release the brakes. Brakes release. Hold some right rudder. And we'll bring it up nice and smooth, up to 42 inches. Centurion, six pop of mic. Change my 25 right. Continue straight in 25 right. Traffic heading to your left, uh, mile and a half, 4,200. Okay, airspace alive. Uh, alive. 50, 50 knots, cross check. And at 80 knots, you'll rotate. And hold some right rudder as you do. Turn across. Across. There's 80 knots. Rotate. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, nice. Clear for takeoff. 25 left short delay approved. Okay, we got our pause ready to climb. Normally, you're on a landing gear coming up. Landing gear up. And yaw damper coming on. Roger. We're going to fly straight out. And I'll set your autopilot. Okay. You just fly the command bars. Roger uh, that. Very good. Nice takeoff. Yeah, thanks, man. It's a very stable airplane. It feels like a like a truck. It is. Hey, your flaps are going to come up. All right. Our Semyon 30608 inbound. Can you get me here? We need to get to the stomach. On there, Tower 120.2. Mars Tower 120.2, right turn approved, 350 Alpha Zulu. All right, we'll take it to a heading of 360. Right, Centurion 3,300 uh, indicated. We'll be passing uh, for the uh, straight in the, on the north side off your right. Monitor 120.2. Okay. Okay, clear right, we're looking good. I love these big screens. That's nice to have three oh, screens. Three big steel traffic, two o'clock, three miles Malibu, northbound altitude indicates three. So tell me about the difference between uh, this model and like the previous, like an 85, you know, 85 version, it was the Meridian. So in an 84 is when the Malibu came out. That's right. right. In 88, they switched to the Continental engine. And Victor, Victor, Victor. Known as the Mirage. 6, okay. And really it was known as the Mirage up until 2015. Gotcha. The introduction of the M350. And with the M350 came a host of avionics and safety changes. Okay. And hence, hence the name change. So it's much more than the name changes. Real, real changes were made in 15. Easily over 20 plus changes started in 15. And here in 18 is when the G1000 NXI was introduced. Oh, okay. 
So was this aircraft so purchased and then someone else zero. traded up and traded Sorry, this right, in? Or so did that one? I delivered this aircraft new in, in July of 2019. Phoenix approach, 54079er with a request. The previous owner used this aircraft as a transition aircraft to uh, build build a uh, flight time in. Is a low time pilot. Oh, I guess. You know, only started off at about, I'd say, a little over 100 hours in this aircraft. Oh, wow. And uh, flew a great amount and uh, now transitioned to a new M600 SLS. Oh, wow. And uh, we had a guaranteed buyback in place, so. That's how that worked That's out. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I read. Uh, I read about that but buyback. Right. It's the step up program. Yeah. That's cool. Makes a lot of sense. Pressurization system is fully automated. So here you can see we're at a 6,000 foot altitude and. It's a 1,600-foot cabin. Oh. That's because we took off. That's that's so there's no setting. It just automatically sets Fully up. automated. Wow, if we were to awesome. have taken off at sea level, it'll essentially maintain sea level to a 12,000-foot cabin. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And at 25,000 feet, you'll see about an 8,000-foot cabin. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Sweet spot, I would say, cruising altitude between 16 and 22,000 feet. 16 and 22. Okay. Phoenix Approach, Malibu 350 Alpha Zulu. I'll be calling approach call back in five minutes. All right, I guess she's busy. She's too busy for us. <laughs> <laughs> so some of these changes that started in 15 is the standby instruments are all are glass now. Okay. As opposed to three separate steam gauge applications, right. all integrated into the Aspen. So you guys, did you guys contract with Aspen to do that? As, uh, Correct. Okay. That's cool. Autopilot is now above the MFD, used to be below. Uh huh. You have a new audio panel as well, and it became a Bluetooth audio panel as well. Landing gear position lights are now incorporated into the G1000. And if you forget to put the landing gear down, either going to 20 degrees of flaps or below 15 inches of manifold pressure, she'll squawk at you coming through your headset, saying check gear and on red letters on the PFD. Oh, that's awesome. A very nice safety feature uh, built in. Also, the fuel, fuel measuring system is very accurate. It's the same system that's in the turboprop. Oh, I wow. 500 and 600. Ahead. And that was introduced in 15 as well. Zero, Victor, Victor. Hey. Very smooth. Very smooth now. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice, large, comfortable cabin. But truly a, a very comfortable four to five person aircraft with bags. Everybody has room to stretch your legs, move around the cabin. That's awesome. And that pressurization makes just all the difference when you're cruising high in the teens. It truly really is. That's that's the game changer. It's similar to a glass cockpit. Once you get used to a, a yeah. G1000 system, you don't want to go back to seam gauge. And the <laughs> same applies to pressurized, right. I would say. We have our blue level button. Loss of oh. aircraft control, special right. orientation. We'll level the wings. Okay. We also have an emergency descent hypoxia recognition system. But if there was a pressurization failure, the cabin altitude would rise above 14,000 feet. Okay. It should never go above 10,000. And there would be a warning if it does go above 10,000. But uh, it would ask you, are you alert? On the PFD, if you don't respond, it'll automatically descend down to 14,000 feet. And then if you don't come to, and then ultimately it'll settle at 12,500 feet. So that's your emergency descent hypoxia recognition system. That's all automatic, huh? All automated, that's correct. Oh, that's you have enhanced stability protection, you can pass 45 degrees of bank. The system will nudge you to a lesser degree of bank. And I equate it similar to in cars with, uh, with lane departure. Oh, the wheel yeah. will nudge you back. Yeah. So you can see passing through a almost 11,000 foot cabin, and our cabin altitude is right at uh, 1,700. Yeah. Albuquerque, you glitch at 639, uh, cool. 3,000. Uh, turning left direct. Like I like that. the way it's displayed. Big, nice, easy, you know, read nice, and easy. Yep. Right. So with the NXI, you can load visual approaches now. Oh, cool. Okay. You also get a vertical situation display. So if you're, you don't have to use it just for IFR, but uh, I use it almost on every instrument approach now, where it'll show you, show you as aircraft in relation to the terrain and all your waypoints and the altitude to be at. So I think that's one of the best features of the NXI as well. Oh, that's cool. It'll warn you if you're taking off or landing on the wrong runway. 
So, and again, if you're taking off VFR, you can load in. You can still load in the runway. It doesn't have to be an instrument departure. It tells you where you are on the airport. When you're going down the runway, it tells you how much runway is remaining. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a real go somewhere airplane. It truly is. Yeah, I describe it as a uh, all weather mission capable aircraft. Get you from point A to B reliably. You know, it's very nice, especially out here in the western half of the U.S. with the terrain where you got to yeah. fly up high, and that's where the pressurization I think comes in even oh, even more yeah. handy. Because you're getting out of the bumps. Right. You're not breathing the uh, the tube with the oxygen. I mean, so here are a 12,000 foot cabin and uh, right still at a 1,600 foot cabin. In this example, the cabin will start to rise up at above 14,000 feet. I gotcha. And at 17.5, we'll see about a 4,500 foot cabin. So the weather that's popping up right now, that's the, uh, that's the, the XM. Weather. Right okay, gotcha. And you have a separate page dedicated to radar, but uh -huh. you can overlay the radar on the MFD. Oh, wow. Very cool, and that's up to the minute, up to the right. second. Real uh, time the radar. Yep. So how has the uh, sales been going with, uh, with the M350? Oh, it's been American pretty good, or you know, people out there like buying airplanes right now? Or? Or? It has. I mean, if I, I tell you, with, with COVID, it's it's brought out people who we have not spoken with before wow. and who are interested in flying privately. So yeah, they're they're going out getting their license themselves to fly themselves private. That's co that's correct. I mean, we are in the owner flown segment, but also interest from owners who are not pilots who are interested in. Uh, I mean, there might be a pilot in the family, or they'll uh, or they'll hire a pilot as well. Wow. So people still very much want to travel. They're just trying to find still the the safest way to do so and, and you know the most efficient way as well. Yeah, and this is you know the an aircraft like an M350. It's a it's an ideal region. Aircraft. Sure. So we're here in Phoenix, but you know, I'd say draw a, up to an 800 mile circle, but especially within 600 miles, you get there really faster than you would on the airlines when you take into account not having to drive to the airport, go through security, baggage, the whole sure. works, possible delays, and uh, and flight time wise, it's not terrible, not that much slower, really. Yeah. And then you get to leave. Come and go when you please on your own schedule. Again, with the radar and being able to get up to the flight levels, you you can get around a lot of the weather right. too. So I have customers who you know who use the aircraft. They'll they'll take off at eight in the morning, seven in the morning, and they'll go see two three customers that day and be home. Wow. Where they they could never do that driving, of course, and and really not in the airlines as well, especially with with. Uh, locations, smaller, smaller towns that are not served by airlines. Yeah. So it just gives them a lot of efficiency. Yeah, this thing, this thing is like a personal airliner. It, it really is. Truly is. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Good way. Yeah, I mean, you pile the family in the back. All right, we're going to Yellowstone. Right. Hop in and blast off there, do some camping. It's really cool. How many uh, M350s do you sell per year? I'm about to answer your question, Piper as a whole, uh, we'll, we'll produce about 30 units a year. 30 units a year, okay. And the M600, you know, looking at, I haven't seen the exact numbers, but I want to say around 50. Around 50 a year? Right. Similar to that. That's still quite a bit, yeah. Sure. So 17.5, our cabin altitude is just under 4,200 feet. Wow, look at that. And you're saying this is kind of like the optimum optimum altitude that. Uh, yes, uh, 16 to 21. I would say is a sweet spot for this aircraft. Uh, yeah, it took us about 20 minutes to minutes. get up to 17.5. Wow, so not not bad. And that's on an extremely hot on a day. Very hot in Phoenix, day, right? Yeah. And you can see we're doing 190 knots true. Just over 20 gallons an hour. That's awesome. Here, 17.5, and breathing just over 4,000 foot air. Yep. 4,200 on the cabin altitude, 20 gallons, 21 gallons, fuel flow. Right. And uh, today our ground speed's 211 knots. That's awesome. But high above the terrain, where it's safe, where it's smooth, right, and comfortable. And if you are flying IFR for some reason, picking up ice, you decide to climb, no big deal. It's just Plug in a higher altitude, up to 25,000 feet and go. And nobody has to put on an oxygen mask. That's cool.
You know, range-wise, we took off with less than half tanks, but we can still, uh, still hit Albuquerque, still get close to Denver. So what do the uh, what green lines represent? So the solid line is where you run out of fuel. Ah. We don't want to be there. Right. The dash line, if you will, is where you have an, I set it to an hour reserve. One hour reserve. Right. That is very cool. So, and we took really off with tool. less than half, uh, half tanks. But from, from today, Deer Valley, we could make it to Phoenix or to uh, Dallas nonstop. Now you can put in with an STC. You can put in tip tanks, if you will, where oh, it's wow. simply another um, holes are drilled on the outboard section of the wing, and that'll get you another 10 gallons a side. 10 gallons a side. Right. Okay. So roughly another hour at cruise of so flying. It add a, add a, a solid 200 nautical mile further oh, wow. range. Right. We're coming up on the uh, beautiful red rock country of Sedona. All right, let's do a descending left-hand turn. Very stable, just stable. Like a 1368, descend to reach by level three, four, zero, 34 in two minutes. Remember. Honestly, it feels very to similar to the 73. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh, as far as control zero, forces zero, and all that, two, Huh. You know, when I turn the uh, the yoke, it it feels like flying a 7.3. You know, once you hit on hit under 70 indicated, you can pop the speed, and we'll keep descending. Yep. You can hit the speed brakes and see how that feels. All right. So right now, there you go. So right now we're doing 2,500 feet per minute down. Speed brakes are deployed. Wow, look at that. And here we go. We're coming down 3,500 feet per minute. No issue. And it doesn't hurt our ears since we're pressurized. Wow. You can really stay up high and come down quickly. That is so cool. Pretty neat. <laughs> but that is very nice being able to descend quickly. That is really, yeah. Nobody's ears are popping. No. Now I'm pressurized, you know, you got to aim for, especially with passengers, yeah. really no more than 600, 700 feet per minute. Especially with, you know, kids on board, right. too. It's but here, no matter what you're coming down, you generally won't exceed five, six hundred feet per minute uh, cabin. Nice. In a long flight, say past three hours, you'll you'll arrive more rested, more rested, energized. That's true. Uh, breathing a pressurizer. I love the displays. I mean, having the three screens and the big MFD in the middle. Right. It's really good. A lot of information on there. Wish we had this in the 7.3, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a better moving map. Don't I we? think you do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and with the air conditioning, you know, you do this all the time during the summer. Not a, not an issue. Yeah, Very comfortable in the airplane uh, once, it, it once it's cooled down. Right. Because it's super nice right now. <laughs> right. It's a good AC. Yeah. Four, and today was really the ultimate yeah. test, right? It was. Yeah, yeah for sure. So I think we set a record the past two days. It was 115 two days ago, 116 American yesterday. Contact Los Angeles Center. Well, well, Arizona. The sun is earning its name. Andrew Valley Tower Mill with 350 Alpha Zulu is proceeding southbound to our four mile final for 25 flip. That was 350 Alpha Zulu, dear about that. Roger, continue uh, southbound from 25 left. Continue uh, 350 Alpha Zulu. Well, actually, what's nice though is you can keep the yaw damper on, and if you forget it, uh -huh. 100 feet. Above the runway, it'll it uh, above the ground. It'll come. Oh, awesome. Golf left turn to yeah. the southeast is awesome. Yeah, they just keep making it easier and safer for, you know, especially for the owner flown sure. non-professional non pilot. It's great. Just, uh, five, six, five, extend up one. With the traffic, the terrain, you know, telling you if you're landing, uh, taking off on the wrong runway. Or just, you know, the leap in technologies nowadays. Amazing to me. Oh, it's insane, right? Yeah. Especially coming from the round dial. Yeah. Final from the northeast. Pretty cool. Now, Blue Zero Alpha Zulu, number two, runway two five left, clear to land. Clear to land, two five left, three fifty Alpha Zulu. All right. All right. I'll give it twenty degrees of flaps. Gears down. It's really, you know, you just you sort of fly down to a runway, and the the flare is going to be just basically to the horizon, and you just hold it off. Okay. I like that flight path vector on there. The nice, green. isn't that? Yeah, yeah. that's really yeah. cool. Yeah, your paper. It, right. it makes a average pilot like me Traffic. look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you Air Force pilots need a lot of help, you know? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, beautiful.
Beautiful. Oh, he stall, nailed it. Stall, uh, stall, show off. Stall, <laughs> stall, 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 stall. Flaps are up. Kill right. your fuel pump. Now lose your Alpha Zulu turn left, Charlie 7, can I take that? Okay, left Charlie 7, contact ground, Alpha Zulu, thanks. Oh, this is awesome. Thank cool. you, yeah, Alex, happy for doing this. Cessna 3, Lumen Pop. Alpha Zulu, 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 Taxi into the ramp to cut our Alpha Zulu. Perfect. All right. All right, everybody. Just got done. Got to thank my man Alex for uh, letting me fly this thing. It is an awesome piece of machinery. Hey, seriously, if you're looking for a plane, doesn't matter what it is, this is your man. Uh, go hit him up. He's there at uh, Cutter Aviation. I'll drop the uh, link down in the descriptions below. But uh, anyways, I want to thank Alex. Thank you so much for coming and taking the time to uh, check out the M350 and everything it can do. Well, that was very cool today. I really appreciate Alex uh, really putting that thing together. It's really cool. Um, never flown a Malibu Mirage before, so getting to fly a uh, 350 was super, super awesome. So again, thanks Alex for putting that together. If you, uh, and it, for real, if you guys are looking for an airplane, Alex is your man. Uh, his uh, info's in the description down below. If you liked uh, what you saw today, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, maybe we'll do some, uh, some other GA flying. I, it's another passion of mine, I love GA. And uh, highlight some airplanes on top of doing the airline stuff. So for now, I hope you guys are doing well. Take care, we'll see you on another video.